So it turns out that God is in fact a woman, which does ultimately mean that Ariana Grande was right all along. What's up there lovely weeb taku and for anyone new, welcome to the channel. Now let's grab an afternoon snack, a drink of water, and let's talk about Akane. Now, as the title of this video suggests, Akane Shinjo is in fact a god. More specifically, she is the god of the world that is portrayed in SSSS.Gridman. And Akane is unlike most gods from theology. There is the age-old question of if a god is all-powerful, can they be all good? And that question is answered in Gridman through Akane. We see Akane throughout the show destroying specifically the things that she does not like. For Akane, the ultimate punishment for people in her world is death. But to understand Akane a little bit more, we have to understand the world of Gridman as it's portrayed to us. Now one of the first things you might notice when watching Gridman is the fact that the world feels empty and this is done on purpose. The only other people we get to see in the show aside from the main cast are the students at the school and some other people outside like Rika's mom. And this is done on purpose. See, the world of Gridman is meant to feel empty. It's meant for us as an audience to understand the emptiness that Akane feels. Akane always feels lonely, even though she created this entire world with people that she can literally force to love her. She still, in fact, in the end, ends up being alone because you can't force human beings to like you. Well, you can, but not completely, but we'll get back to that. Now, aside from the scenery in Gridman, now the sound design of this show is quite interesting for the fact that you always hear nearly nothing in the background. In most shots, you might hear the wind whistling in the distance, or you might hear the echoes of an empty room. And as I've mentioned before, this is done on purpose so we can understand that this world that is filled with people is still empty. An emptiness that echoes what's inside Akane's heart. Akane is trying to fill a hole inside of herself with the world that she has created. She tries to create a world of people that can only love her. She tries to forge bonds. She tries to understand love, but that's not how humanity works. Human beings have always been rebellious and that aspect continues in this show. While we've established that Akane is all powerful and not all good, she's also never in control. Now, even with Akane being the god of her own world, Akane tries to shape her world into a world that she would be absolutely okay with, but instead she finds out that's not quite possible with pushback from forces like the Gridman Alliance. Although Akane is all-powerful, she just doesn't erase the Gridman Alliance from existence. Instead, she goes through all the battles with them to prove that she is in charge, or at least she tries to prove that she's in charge. Akane's kaiju constantly lose battles and this makes her flustered, and while I'm no god and I don't understand how gods work, Akane's character seems less of a god when she's flustered and angry and more like a human. Now, most of what I'm about to mention next, I find out by watching this video by subtitled anime. The link for that video will be in the description down below. I definitely go watch that video if you guys wanted to understand a little bit more about Akane. Anyhow, like I was saying, Akane seems less like a god and more like a human. Which then sparks the question if Akane is truly a god, or if she is just a human. Through the show we see Akane get very very upset until she absolutely shuts down because she's lost control of her own world. And that's where the sound design comes back into play. You see the sound, the emptiness that we hear and feel throughout the show, the, the emptiness that we see, it all starts to make sense because Akane even though she is a god, she's alone. It makes even more sense when we recognize that if gods make their worlds in their own image, this world is the perfect reflection of Akane. While she may look like her creations, while she may act like her creations, she's not one of them. She tries to fit in with them, but ultimately never truly can. And so the echoes we hear in the rooms the soft rustling wind we always hear in the background in shots like these. The dead space in the framing of these shots. That's just to show all of us the emptiness in Akane's heart. And I know I've probably said this a million times, but Akane is literally a lonely god. And that's ultimately what the story of SSS Gridman is. It's the story about a lonely god that tries to create a universe 
filled with people that she expects to love her, but with the nature of humanity, that's not what happens. Gridman showcases that like our own world, even though there are different cultures of people that believe that gods created this world in their own image, this world isn't perfect and neither is Akane's. And with Akane showcasing such meager human emotions like anger and depression, you honestly can't help but feel that Akane actually isn't a god. Akane is probably just human, and that's why at the end of Gridman, even though the entire world is restored to its former beauty, even though it feels and might look less empty by the end of the show, even though Akane leaves to inevitably go back to the world of the gods, she doesn't quite leave on a happy note. And it's at the end of the show that we find out that the world of the gods is actually our own world. Akane is in fact human like you or me. The entire story of SSS Gridman was probably just a dream. Or you know she's truly a god and it implies that all of us are actually gods too. The point is that like I said in the beginning, God is in fact a woman. And as a woman, Akane is allowed to feel the emotions that she feels throughout the show. But at the very least, she'll know that in the end, her creation, Rika, ended up loving her, even if no one else did. And that's what makes SSSS Gridman a really remarkable show. And that's what makes Akane probably one of my favorite characters that has debuted this year. And honestly, this isn't a waifu Wednesday or anything, but if I had to change Akane's rating, I'd probably give her a 9 out of 10. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This show honestly truly holds a very special place in my heart now and uh, I hope you guys do get a chance to watch it at some point and if you have started watching it and you dropped it or something, I definitely say please at least try. Try to go back and give it a second watch and think about everything I've said in this video. I know there were a lot of people that said Gridman was a very boring show because it was always quiet and everything was always still and shots never moved, stuff like that. But I just want you to think about everything I said and understand that those things were that way because of the stillness in Akane's heart. The show mimicked Akane. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments below, but that's what I think and that's why I love Gridman and I think you should watch it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do more analysis if you guys like stuff like this.